Hi, I'm Dede Wilson, and I want to talk to you a little bit about measuring wet ingredients for baking. Most American recipes will suggest uh, ingredients by volume, so it'll say a cup of milk or a half a cup of water, and we need the right tools to make sure that we're getting the right measurement. So I have here a couple of different measuring cups I want to show you. Now, this one, this is gigantic. I mean, this is an eight cup measuring cup. These are um, an old style from Pyro they're still available. I love these measuring cups. They're, they're really precise. Um, the reason why I have this big one out here and this smaller one, the two cup, which I probably find to be the most um, versatile one that I have, is because I just want to point out to you, I mean, this, this one starts at two cups. So even if you wanted to try and measure a cup of milk, you couldn't. I, I just want to sort of uh, reinforce for you that you want to try and use a measuring cup that's as close to the size as what you need. So if I needed uh, four cups, I would probably uh, measure it in this one because I would just have to do the measurement once as opposed to doing this two cup measurement twice because each time you measure by volume there can be some uh, margin for error so if you can measure it once that's the best way to go so I'm sure you know this but I will just um, take you through it if I want um, a cup of milk what we want to do is we want to pour it in and then we want to look at it by eye, which really means you scoot yourself down here and you make sure that the measurement is what you want. I actually over poured a little bit. Now there are some measuring cups on the market right now where you can look down in and see the measurement from the inside, but I have to tell you I read an article where uh, some people tested them and they were not accurate. I had actually bought some because I thought they sounded fabulous, but I took them back. And these old-fashioned Pyrex ones were rated very highly. So with the precision that we need for baking and liquid ingredients are part of our uh, our recipe this is the way to go so I look down and the top of the liquid is exactly where I want it to be so I have my cup of milk now this look might look funny to you I'm not about to pour a drink although I could because this is a shot glass but it's a special shot glass made for us bakers um, it has all kinds of measurements on it that will really help us it does have the ounces and the milliliters so if you wanted to use it uh, to create a drink at your bar at home you could but it has teaspoons and tablespoons and it is so handy I love this thing it's called the mini measure you can find them online they're very inexpensive and um, I think once you have one you'll use it all the time so what I like about it is that think about it vanilla is a liquid ingredient and we so often reach for our dry measuring spoons to measure vanilla here we have a liquid measure we can measure our liquid ingredients in it the other thing that I like about it is that um, okay so let's say I need one and uh, one teaspoon of vanilla which is a really typical measurement I can pour it out and then I can just have it there ready for me as part of my mise en place, as part of you know having my ingredients all set up for me so that when my mixer is going and it calls for the teaspoon of vanilla, I don't have to stop. I can grab the shot glass and add the vanilla. So these mini measures, they're great. I definitely suggest that you get one. So I hope this makes a little more sense to you about uh, liquid measuring. It's just as important as our dry measures. As always, equipment's important. Make sure you invest in quality measuring tools. If you take care of them, they'll last a lifetime. So it's a great investment for a baker. Thanks for joining me, and check out some of our other, other videos on DadyWilson.com.